What's up y'all? A ton of y'all have been asking me lately to actually ride my cable board on the boat. So today we're gonna grab my cable board, bring it out on the boat and try it out. Come on, let's go. Well, come on, get in the truck. Come on, get in the truck. Come on, get in, get in the truck. Good boy. Come on, buddy, let's go, come on. Come on, yeah, let's go, come on, come on. You ready for the bow, come on. Good boy. Oh my goodness gracious, dear Lord Almighty, Jesus, amen. What'd you look at it? What's up? You wanna come on the boat? All righty. All right, so I have ridden the cable board behind the boat before, but we ran no ballast and just kind of buttered around and had a bit of fun. I never really have ridden it with a big wake or really tried any tricks that much, but I'm gonna ride the boat board first and make sure I know what it feels like to ride them sort of back to back and I can really feel the difference. I'm gonna ride this now. Chase is gonna go for a rip. Maybe the girls will surf or something and then we'll try the cable board and uh, yeah, just have some fun. I just took my set, went pretty decent. Chase is gonna go for a rip now. And uh, I already knew what the boat board was gonna feel like just cause I ride it on the boat all the time. But yeah, now I have something to compare it to and we'll uh, bring this girl out there in a minute. Chase just finished up, landed a tantrum blind, and now we got the foil queen about to go. She's only foiled like one time, so hopefully it goes well for her or she's gonna crash. Crash. Probably gonna. Probably gonna. Oh How you feeling out there? Airbus!
God dang, girl, you're like a pro surfer or something, huh? Not yet. Shoot. All right, the girls just finished up surfing and I just threw my boots on my cable board. We're gonna hop on the water now. It's a bit windier, so the conditions aren't as great as earlier, but we'll try and make the best of it. We got jet ski team over here. Uh, I think we got this way. We should beat it. We can what? We can beat it. It's only four boats. Just beat it. Yeah, I'm just beat gonna get it. in. that's gonna be it for today on the boat I didn't ride the cable board as long as I did on the boat board just because of the conditions but I could definitely tell the differences the boat board is a lot more rigid so it's not really as playful on the water it also has fins so you can't really like butter around or just slide around as easily but since the boat board is more rigid it does have a lot more consistent of a pop and maybe a little bit harder of a pop than if you were to have a flex board since the board does have fins it really helps the board track a lot through the water and really helps you be a lot more lazy you don't have to be absolutely perfect and set perfectly on edge the fins will kind of just do it for you it'll really help you edge all the way through the top of the wake and be a lot more consistent since the cable board does have flex your pop isn't going to be exactly the same every time the board is bending and it's not going to be the exact same shape every time you hit the wake so your pop will be a little bit less consistent the cable board not having fins really allows for the board to be a lot more fun on the water you can do nice butters or nice big carves without having to worry about catching an edge whereas if you did have fins you may actually hang up a little bit and get slapped but the downside to not having fins is whenever you're edging in towards the wake you have to make sure that you're perfectly on edge all the way up through the top of the wake and you can't be as lazy as you could on a boat board if i were to do this again i think i would try riding a bit smaller of a cable board because i usually ride a 139 on the boat and the 148 cable board i was riding was almost longer than the transition of the wake so it was a little bit hard in my personal opinion i don't really recommend riding one board on both the cable and the boat i definitely recommend riding riding a boat board on the boat just because it makes things a lot easier and a cable board on the cable just because it's a lot more durable and your boat board will break really fast. And if you can't afford two wakeboards, one for the boat and one for the cable, I would probably recommend getting the cable board but not a mega huge one and probably drilling your own fin holes so you can remove them whenever you go on the cable and put them back on whenever you ride boat. Or if you're just super precise when you ride, you won't need fins anyway. But I personally prefer to be a bit more lazy. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Make sure you guys go follow Chase, Sav, and Brittany. I'll leave the link to their Instagram accounts in the description below. If you guys like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Comment below what kind of videos you guys want to see in the future. And remember, I'll be uploading a wakeboarding video every second day forever. So make sure you guys subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace!